Bats are still demonized by myths and Hollywood entertainment. Misinformation feeds fear, and education is the antidote. White Memorial has its very own bat crusader, Jerry Griswold, who established and hosts White Memorial's annual celebration of the bats. This is an animal that is crucial to life on Earth. Impact that bats make on world ecology. Our, our lives depend on them. They're very interesting animals because evolutionists always assume that um, an animal came from another animal, like Eohippus, the, the, the first horse, was about this big, five toes. Did you know horses had toes once? Very different from our modern looking horse. A bat, he looked like that 50 million years ago. And he looks the same today. He was perfect then, he was perfect now, and there is absolutely no thread at all of it coming from anything else. So they are completely unique in the world of, of animals, and certainly the world of mammals. So who are their closest kin? We've ruled out rodents. Bats are long living and low reproducing. We rule out birds. Bats are mammals. They, they give birth to live young. Birds lay eggs. Marsupials, do they have a pouch? Uh, and then how about primates? Could a bat be related to you? Well, let's look inside, because this is where the proof is in the pudding. Give him a manicure, shorten his radius and ulna, straighten out his legs, put his kneecaps on the right way. He's got five toes, five fingers. The only finger you can see on his hand is a thumb. The most compelling thing for me is the brain to body ratio. His skull versus his, um, uh, the rest of him. Look at our skull and our body. The rib cage. He's a very intelligent animal. Well, let me tell you something. Mr. Bat is your distant cousin. There are roughly 1,000 species of bats on our planet. In Connecticut, we have eight species. The big brown bat, little brown bat, long-eared bat, Indiana bat, tricolored bat, silver-haired bat, eastern red bat, and hoary bat. Bat species comprise one quarter of all mammal species. The little brown bat is the biggest predator of mosquitoes, about 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour consumed by this little guy. So unfortunately, uh, the numbers of them are really been devastated, especially up in our area of Connecticut. White nose syndrome or the fungus, Geomyces destructans, that is the likely cause of this devastating disease. It's named for a cold-loving white fungus typically found on the faces and wings of infected bats. White nose syndrome causes bats to awaken um, during hibernation and use up their stored fat reserves that they're needed to get them through the winter. The infected bats often emerge from the caves early, looking for food, looking for water, and they usually freeze or starve to death. It has killed more than seven million bats since it was discovered in a single New York cave in February 2006. Just as you can identify birds by their voices, you can identify 800 species of bats by their voices, by their sonar voices. How cool is that? After a meet and greet with Mr. Bat, Nancy Tucker's music, and consumption of bat-themed sweets. The group ventured out to the green barn to count the big brown bats leaving their hibernaculum, that's a bat colony's home, in search of food. Translation? They're saying we're very hungry, it's breakfast time. <laughs> Thank you. So, what do bats do for us? Here's a short list. Bats are important pollinators and seed distributors. They put food on our tables. Their saliva is used in the treatment of stroke. And bats are the greatest predator of mosquitoes right here in Connecticut. A bat could be a club they use in baseball. A bat could be a drinking bout or spree. There are folks who like to bat around ideas to consider or discuss informally. There are bats that serve as platforms in ceramics and cotton batting used for stuffing quilts. Some people bat their eyes when they are flirting. Makes no difference if they wear a skirt or kilt. But none of the above could have a birthday with cupcakes and a lecture and a tune. No, that's a right reserve for bats who fly by night, whose vertebrates, those vertebrates whose night light is the moon. Happy birthday, Mr. Bat. May your life be long and merry, and it will be, especially if you hang around.
with Jerry. No, that's 95.